Alex, what would you say to folks who may be worried about adopting GraphQL? We haven't shown off what the MCP tools are that you can use. So we're actually here in VS Code and I'm here in my queries file. We've had the Firebase extension running this whole time. And one of the things you can actually do is you'll notice these code lenses here. We can actually run these queries whenever we want, right? Just to test them out locally, which I think is really nice, right? Like you can write your query and then instead of waiting to submit it, you just use the code lens to run it against your either production instance or against your local emulators, which we're running right now in the background. Uh, here is my query, and then here are the results for that movie that we just looked up on the movie page. It's really cool that you can kind of, uh, and this is the power of GraphQL as well, is that you can ask specifically what you're looking for, do all the joins kind of behind the hood. So like you're not passing too much data over, you have the security surrounded it. I, I find it's really powerful on top of this. That's really cool. Yeah, and I think that's one of the things that we loved here is that uh, giving that, you know, using the power of that GraphQL here to not only right, have this flexibility, but also define the strongly typed objects between your kind of client app and your backend gives you the structure that helps you rapidly iterate and build as your app grows. Alex, what would you say to folks who may be worried about adopting GraphQL? Oh, interesting. There are some, some learnings that you have to get into. So when you are living more in the REST world, you know, like, a get call and kind of how it works and a put, a post, like all of those different methodologies. With GraphQL, it's all post calls, if I remember correctly. Um, and then you're always going to have kind of like queries that are required for those on top of it. So it's a little bit of a learning curve on that side of it. Um, I think that the power of them, though, is how much you can actually do in a query as well. So like you can chain together you know, five different things you want to occur in a single call. That, that, that was great, Alex, right? Like that, and I think gra there are some differences with GraphQL. Is it worth learning? Ooh, um, yeah, I think so, for sure. 